Hey guys, this year for spring break we headed to Mexico! And one of my kids' favorite memories, aside from all the fun in the sun, was the churro cart they discovered. So to keep the vacation vibe going, today we are making baked churros. Churro! All right guys, so this dough is a little unusual. You make it entirely on the stove, so let's head over there. I'm gonna turn the heat on under a medium saucepan and add a cup of water, followed by two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon salt, and then a stick of butter or half a cup. I'm gonna bring that to a simmer until my butter melts and then bring it to a boil and turn the heat off. All right, so my liquid is off the stove. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla, give that a stir, and then my flour. And really, you're gonna have to stir this pretty well right away. It becomes pretty thick. And next, I'm gonna add three eggs, but I'm gonna do them one at a time. I'm gonna stir really well after I do that so that they don't actually cook because the dough is really hot. Work it into the dough. You don't want the egg to curdle. And as you add these eggs, your dough will get thicker. It's like my arm workout for the day. And manage to not cook them. Hallelujah. All right, so my batter is all mixed up. I have baking sheets that I've lined with parchment paper, and then I have a pastry bag and a really big star tip. You want it to be about half inch diameter so you get that full churro effect. Um, I've let my batter cool a little bit because otherwise I will feel it through my bag. All right, I'm just gonna fold my bag down, make it easier to spoon this in. Riders over to join. And then I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. This is a really thick dough, you guys. All right, and you don't wanna overfill your bag. So I'll get some in, and then Ryder, which baking sheet should we start with? This one. This one? Okay, ready? All right. Ooh, no. You can Ooh. use a scissor to cut them off. I'm just gonna kinda let them no. drip off. Hey Ryder, when we had the churros in Mexico, do you remember how they made them? Were they short? Long. They were really long, right? And like did they have a machine? Bit. Like this bit. Yeah, and they had a machine, right? Yeah. And they would crank it like this, and then it would go into the, the oil, and they would fry it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho! Ocho! Now we should do another desk, ocho, <laughs> doce. All right, now into a 370 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Our churros are out of the oven and they cooled a little bit. I've got some melted butter and cinnamon sugar and now it's time to butter and sugar them up. Okay, so with my melted butter and my pastry brush, I'm gonna brush both sides and then Ryder, you're gonna dip it in the cinnamon sugar. Gotta get it all covered because that's what makes churros so delicious, right? Okay, perfect. Now back on your baking rack, perfect. Ready, let me get you another one. Now, when we were in Mexico, what did you dip your churros in? Um, chocolate and yeah. caramel sauce. Yes, chocolate and caramel, right? It was so good. All right. <laughs> well, these look good and our house smells so delicious. Should we give them a try? Yeah. All right. Churros, cheers. Feel like you're on vacation? Mm -hmm. It's a marvelous munchie. Marvelous munchie indeed. We hope you guys give this baked churro recipe a try. Adios. Adios. Gracias for watching.